to Hedgehog Hollow. So today I'm showing you five different crafts that you can do using your Wagner heat gun. We have a couple of fun ones in there. Some you might already know, some you might already not, but I'm gonna be sharing lots of tips and tricks with you. So let's get started. So for our first tip or trick or craft that we can do with our Wagner heat gun, and you'll notice I'm using the kind of more heavy duty heat gun, but there are just so many things we can do with it. And you can use it for your regular paper crafting as well. Um, I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks with paint pouring. So um, I just grabbed myself this really cool triangle canvas. I'm gonna make this for Tilly's room. And I'm gonna actually just cover my surface in white. So I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm not gonna do a dirty pour or some of the things you've seen me do before. I'm gonna get my other colors ready and give them a little shake up. And your heat gun can be a really cool uh, tool as well as something practical when you're paint pouring. So I'm gonna show you all of those things. Let me get these open. Grab a little. Uh, this one's got some acrylic around the top, so it's not opening. There we go. Let's crack that. So I've got some pink here, and I'm using a pre-mixed pouring paint just because I find it's so much easier than uh, mixing my own, but you can absolutely do that if you wanted to. Let's so make sure the lid, this one's a brand new one, a little bit left. We'll make sure we use this one up first. So let's put this back. I have a little cart with all my paint pouring things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just spread out my white all over my surface and hopefully not get it too much over me, but you know, we want it smooth-ish. And the thing about paint pouring is it does kind of level itself out, which is nice. So once I've done that, I'm gonna just kind of wipe off my gloves a little bit. And then we're gonna make our patterns. So I'm gonna take some black. Just like this. And then I'm gonna take some pink. And I'm kind of just tracing that line, as you can see. And I'm actually gonna do both sides of this line with the pink. Like so. And then I'm gonna just take one of my gloves off. So I have a clean hand to work with. And I'm gonna take my heat gun. I'm gonna set this on to on. And I've got it on my medium heat. And what I can do is, I'm actually just gonna turn this up just a little bit more. Take a second just to heat up. But I, you notice I have the kind of focus nozzle on there and what it's gonna allow me to do is really kind of start moving my paint around. You don't want it too hot, you just want big airflow. It's also gonna take out all of those bubbles um, and it's gonna allow me to do some really cool techniques. So I'm going to, just for a second, turn that up. And I'm just going to help this move it around and level myself out a little bit. You'll also notice how those bubbles are kind of just... It's a really great way to remove those bubbles out. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. I'll turn it this way up just for a second. The other nice thing, of course, is that it stands up while you're using it. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to add in a flash of gold. I think I might actually want a little bit more at the top. So these novels are nice on these. Uh, this is the We Are Memory Keepers Colourpool, the American Crafts. And they have a really nice nozzle because you can do a little bit or you can do a lot of colour, which is the nice part. And I am working on a drop cloth. I'm just adding a little color at the top there. So let me take both my gloves off because I'm pretty much sure that that's all of my color now. And now I'm just gonna work with my heat gun. So once you're done, you're gonna have a super cool uh, piece like this. So it does take a few minutes to move around. You wanna make sure you have it on high airflow 
um, and then you have this really cool piece. So I'll leave this to dry around about overnight. Then you can add like a clear resin or something to it as well. You could add a name over the top or you could write princess. You could do all sorts of fun things, but I love this geometric design. So let's move on to tip number two. Um, but I should also mention that if you have old acrylic paint or maybe you have something that you've glue gunned in or you buy a thrift store fine, it's glue gunned in and you need to remove it, you can also use your heat gun to melt all those things away and peel the paint or remove that old glue. So for tip number two, uh, I wanted to show you how you can make really cool wax art with the heat gun. Now, lots of people have asked me how I made this. These used to be behind me on the mantelpiece. I change it out for every season, but they're really simple. I put all the Crayola crayons in spectrum order. I glue gun them on and then just very carefully heated them and let them drip down. But you can also do uh, pumpkins. I showed you how to do that at Halloween. That was really good fun. But the other thing you can do is you can use your heat gun. Um, and then I'm gonna hold it in one hand. I have a heat proof glove on the other hand. And if you don't wanna stick them on, you can kind of just like let them melt and splash around. So you're gonna heat this one up. I'm using, again, I'm using that uh, you know tip on it. You can decide which way you wanna go. It just takes a second to heat up because I was using it from cold because I just cleaned up from the last video. Here it comes. So you can let it drip around. Uh, you could turn the airflow up and let it blow around too. Um, you can do some really cool kind of things. You can angle it across the wax crayon. So you can see how it's now kind of like starting to splatter. So I'm going to do this all over and then I'm going to show you the cool piece of artwork that I can create uh, with my heat tool. I created this really cool splatter art and there's lots of different things you can do. You can make them like this and kind of blow them around as I did and make a faux paint pour with wax crayons because it's going to dry really quickly as well. Um, and then you can also uh, maybe put a coating over the top, add some vinyl, add some different decorations to it. You don't have to seal it but if you want to put vinyl things on I find just a thin coat of a shellac spray or some Mod Podge works really well. So let's try out craft number three. So for tip number three, I'm gonna show you how to do wood burning with your heat gun. Now, it's super, super simple. I'm gonna turn this on to heat up while I'm talking to you. And um, I made this really cute little moonshine pig. Isn't that so cute in there? Uh, and that's just with doing this wood burning. So normally when I do wood burning, I'd use a blow torch, but I have to say, I really like the control that it gives you by using the heat gun. So turn it on too high and then all you have to do is start doing the burning. Now, I'm using a burn stencil, which is a metal stencil, so uh, it will get very hot, which is why I have my heat resistant gloves over here. But what you're gonna notice is that I get really nice control over the shading that I get. So I'm around about uh, half to three quarters of an inch off my surface, not too much, but you also don't want to be touching. And I can see, you can see here it's starting to go. And I really do have that control to decide how dark or light I'd like my image. And these are really nice stencils for wood burning because of course they're not going to burn or curl. Um, you can use them as many times as you want. They're completely reusable. Uh, I say I did a video the other day using them with a blow torch, which was great fun. But I always have this fear I'm gonna burn the house down. Greg makes me have a jug of water next to me when I'm using my blow torch just in case. So this is just so, so much easier. You can see I'm just kind of working my way around. I'm using this heat tool from cold. It had cooled down since uh, my last tip. So if, of course, if your heat gun was warmer, it wouldn't take as long for it to warm up uh, and you could just get going. And you could do multiple things. Uh, burn stencil have a number of different things, but I love using my heat gun. It just makes it so, so easy. So I'm just putting that shading in. I love the smell of wood burning too. So this is just a real, Real wood panel, it's just a thin one that I grab at Big Box and then you can frame it, you could paint it, wax it, uh, age it, so many different things you could do, just use a section. This is actually thin enough, I could cut it out in my Cricut so you could do something in your Cricut and then wood burn it. 
lots and lots of different options. So I'm nearly there. And all of a sudden you'll find you get to the right temperature and it just goes. So like now it's going much, much faster because it's warmed up. And so it's getting it into all those little nooks and crannies. And so just be careful now when you um, are pretty much done, you wanna make sure that you have something, either leave it to cool or now I'm gonna pick this up using my heat resistant gloves so I can show you. But I'll link to these as I say in the uh, description below because these are just awesome little gloves. I use them for heat press, I use them for all my hot crafts um, and they are just perfect. So what you can do is just slide your image out the way and there's our cool little piggy and that's how it looks if you put it onto a surface like that. So let's try tip number four. So fun and craft number four that you can do with your heat gun is sublimation. Now you may have seen me do the shrink wrap before but I was watching Ashley Chauvin the other day and she actually did a whole tumbler just using her heat gun which is also how I tried some of these out. So once you have taped on your images, whether you use the iron on ink markers or you know whatever you want to use, you can then grab your sleeve or your mug cover. The sleeves just make everything, I think, so much easier. And they also hold everything in place. In fact, I'm gonna do this bit before I put my heat gloves on. And I also found another tip with these sleeves. So one thing you wanna make sure when you do these sleeves is normally I do this and I kind of wrap it a little bit underneath because you don't want this to go too far on the inside. Whereas if you actually turn this the other way up and have your sleeve flat on your surface, I'm working on the Tim Holtz glass mat because it is heat resistant. So uh, I'm not gonna burn a hole in my table. Then I'm gonna turn this on. And you're gonna watch this shrink. It's super, super cool, watch. How cool is this? So you normally would put this wrap on just like this with your taped images underneath. Uh, so take them on using heat resistant tape, then grab your heat gun, do this part of the process. And then typically we would put this into the oven and bake it. However, I was watching, as I say, Ashley Chauvin was doing a great live the other day and she just kept heating her heat gun around her tumbler and it came out amazing. So you can totally do sublimation. I tried it on a little keychain upstairs. Keychains and flat things were harder, but anything I had the shrink wrap on worked really, really well with that process. So you can absolutely try sublimation with your heat gun. So if you have a heat gun, go try that out. Grab yourself some iron-on ink markers and I'll add all links and coupons below for you. So the last craft I have for you is just a fun one, but we're gonna have fun trying it out. So for our fifth and final craft, did you know you can roast coffee beans with your heat gun? Now Greg's looking at me very skeptical about this one, but we're gonna try it out and then we're gonna make him try it upstairs. So you have to follow us over on Instagram to find out more information and see what he really thinks of this. And we'll post a story once he's tried them out. I'm gonna start heating these. I have them on the highest setting, just in an old baking tray um, that I use for things like this that I don't mind. And I'm just gonna start heating. Now it does say it takes a little while, so I'm just gonna keep this going. Um, but we've had some really fun crafts, things you can do with your heat gun. So number one, we tried out paint pouring, moving the paint around, um, and also, uh, you know, getting all your bubbles out. It's perfect for that. Number two, we did faux paint pouring with wax crayons and creating some really fun art with those where you could do like the trickle down like I did or do it on pumpkins. So it's all done with the heat gun. Um, number three, we tried out wood burning. Number four, we did sublimation. And now we're gonna keep heating these coffee beans. And you'll have to come over to Instagram to see how this turns out and how the coffee turns out. So go give us a follow at the Hedgehog Hollow. Don't forget to hit subscribe, ring the bell. Links to everything I've used are below and I cannot wait to see you for another tip, trick, tutorial in another video. I'll see you again soon. Bye.